Hello, this is Mrs. Slim. Today we're going to talk about affirmative to commands. Now normally when I talk to my dog Daisy, I say, Daisy, you speak very well. Hablas muy bien. Daisy, you dance very well. Tu bailas muy bien. Daisy, you are beautiful. Tu eres bonita. But sometimes I have to tell Daisy what to do. And when I tell her what to do, I use affirmative to commands, which are different than just telling her how well she dances, how well she sings, and how beautiful she is. So Daisy, today we're going to talk about the way that I boss you around. When I boss you around, I use a different uh, set of verbs. I use affirmative to commands. One of Daisy's chores is to take out the trash. If I want to say take out the trash, I use sacar la basura. That means to take out the trash. Sacar is the infinitive form. Sacar la basura. However, if I'm talking to Daisy and I'm giving her a command and I'm saying, Daisy, take out the trash for the last time, I will say saca la basura. We use the el, ella, usted form to talk to Daisy, who is a tú, and that's how we do most of the affirmative two commands. So we're talking to a tú, but we're using the el, ella, or usted form. And that's pretty much it. There are some exceptions. We will talk about those. Daisy, barre el suelo. Daisy, lava los platos. Cooking. How do we say to cook in Spanish? I don't know. Daisy, cocina. Daisy, cocina. How would I tell Daisy to take out the trash? What's the el, ella, and usted form of sacar la basura? Y ahora saca la basura. Just use the el, ella, and usted form. Even change the stems when they are needed. Daisy, duerme. Duermete. Ahora toca el ukulele. Tócalo. Tócalo, Daisy. Ahora, Daisy, pasa la aspiradora. Pasa la aspiradora. Ahora. Daisy, lava el pelo. Lava el pelo. Usa el champú. Úsalo. Lávate el pelo. Con el champú. Úsalo. Usa el champú. Sometimes I have to remind Daisy to eat. How would I command Daisy to eat? Daisy, come. Like most seemingly easy things in Spanish, we do have some irregular commands. Tell the truth. 
Di la verdad. Do your homework. Haz la tarea. Set the table. Pon la mesa. Be careful. Ten cuidado. Or have patience. Ten paciencia. Salir means to go out. I want you to leave. Sal! Sal de aquí. Ser means to be. I want you to be good. Sé bueno. Sé buena if you're a girl. Ir means to go. I want you to leave. Ve. Usually followed by te. Vete. Or vete de aquí. And venir means to come. Ven aquí. That means come here. Come here, Daisy. Ven aquí. To help with these irregular commands, there is a mnemonic. Uh, the mnemonic has to do with one of our favorite Fast and the Furious actors, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Uh, the mnemonic is Vin Diesel has ten weapons. Say, get it? Vin Diesel has, has ten weapons. Say, that's how we can remember the irregular affirmative two commands. So I need Daisy to make the bed. So what is the infinitive of the verb that I should use and how would I change it? I don't just take the regular L-A in usted form. I actually have to think about the irregular two commands. Daisy, haz la cama. Daisy, haz la cama. Daisy, haz café. Daisy, vete de aquí. Vete. Vete. All right. Ven aquí. Ven. Ven aquí, Daisy. Muy bien. Muy bien. Finally, her last job is to set the table. Daisy, pon la mesa. Daisy, pon la mesa. So Daisy, for most of the two affirmative commands, we use the L-A or usted form. Study, estudia. Eat, come. Watch TV, mira la televisión. There are some irregular ones. Ven, sal, has, ten, ve, ponce. Like we're Canadian. Ven, come here, ven aquí. D, D la verdad, you always tell me lies. Sal, sal de aquí, leave. So there's those irregular ones. However, uh, most verbs, just regular. If you want someone to lunch, hey you, lunch, almuerza. Because it's almorzar, it's an AR verb. Almuerza, it's a stem changing verb. And um, that's about it. So. That will be it for affirmative two commands today. Now we will practice.